Today's flipped lesson is for lesson 29A, word problems involving two-step inequalities. So what we're doing today is we're dealing with word problems where we're going to have to set up a two-step inequality and then solve it. And so we have to remember some of the things we learned a few weeks ago regarding two-step equation word problems and also word phrases that represent our common inequality phrases. So we need to put all of those things together to solve two-step word problems with inequalities. A little bit of background knowledge. Here are a few of those word phrases that I was just talking about. This is, I think, the fourth lesson where we've had to deal with these word phrases. And by now, hopefully, you have most of them memorized. We also have to remember how to set up a two-step equation because these word problems are very, very similar. There's only uh, a couple of words that are slightly different. So when we did these, we were looking at uh, for terms that included the word per or an hour or each lesson or something like that. And that usually told us where the x would go. So we, the $25 per lesson here represents 25x. She already had $50. So that is represented with plus 50. And then a total is usually, the total is usually on the right-hand side of our equation or in this case today, in the inequality. So when we piece all of that together, in this problem, we have a two-step equation. The two-step inequality word problems will be extremely similar to these. So we have to remember to add or subtract first, and then multiply or divide second. And most importantly, probably, is to make sure that we answer the problem with a complete sentence. In this case, the student took five lessons. So once again, we're looking for important words. So number one here, we have $25 per lesson plus a $50 recital fee, but we want to know how many lessons the student can take if she pays no more than $175. No more than, you need to go to your chart and make sure that you understand that that means the same thing as less than or is less than or equal to. So we put this together in terms of an inequality, subtract 50 from both sides, and at that point it's just solving like we normally would. And then we get x is less than or equal to 5. So we have to sort of put that in terms of a sentence that will answer this question. The question is, how many lessons can the student take if she pays no more than $175? So one sentence that could represent the answer would be the student can take no more than five lessons. And a little hint here, whatever words represent the inequality, usually you can use those same words in our sentence. We just have to make sure that it makes sense for what's being asked. The student can take no more than five lessons. All right. So once again, things that we're looking for, important words like per or for each or for every or other words that represent the same thing that usually tells us where the letter goes. Our total or a maximum usually will go on the right-hand side of our inequality. And uh, remember all of those things that we learned when we did two-step equation word problems. All right. Let's take a look at... Number two, pause this flip lesson, set up your inequality, then go ahead and press play to make sure that you've got the right inequality, then pause the lesson again and solve the inequality. All right, Sam is planning a vacation. He already has $180 and saves $45 each week. If the trip must cost below, and that's a key word right there, below $900, how many weeks will it take him to save for the trip? Well... $45 each week. That means the, it's the $45 that changes every single week. That's another indication that that's where the variable needs to go. Uh, he already has $180, so that's plus $180, and the total that he has must be below $900. Below is a word that means uh, less than. Important word right there. So when we put that together, here is our inequality. Go ahead and pause this flipped lesson, solve the inequality, and then answer the uh, question with a complete sentence. 
All right, to solve this inequality, we need to use the subtraction property of inequalities. Subtract 180 from both sides. We're making zero right there. Now we have 45x is less than 720. We use the division property of inequalities, so divide both sides by 45, and we get x is less than 16. However, that's not the answer to this question. The question is, if the tri trip must cost below $900, how many weeks will it take him to save for the trip? So one sentence that might work is it will take him, um, actually, this should say less than, 16 weeks. You could also use the word below. It will take Sam below, which doesn't make as much sense. Less than uh, makes a little more sense for that problem. All right. Let's take a look at number three. Pause this flipped lesson. Come up with the inequality that you think you should use. Then play it and solve the inequality. All right, number three, Carmela is going to buy a digital camera that is at least $249. Obviously, that at least is going to be very important. She has $24 and is saving $15 each week. It is that 15 that continues to change each week, so that is where the variable will end up going. So <coughs> $15 each week is represented by the expression 15x. And then we have our plus 24, and then our at least... $249, which of course is greater than or equal to $249 from our chart. Now I keep saying from our chart, but we at some point soon we need to get those terms memorized. So we put that together and we end up with the inequality 15x plus 24 is greater than or equal to $249. Pause this flipped lesson, finish solving it, and answer the question with a complete sentence. Let's take a look at this. We need to use the sub <coughs> subtraction property of inequalities. So subtract 24 from both sides, then use the division property of inequalities, and we end up with x is greater than or equal to 15. That is not the answer to this problem. We need to answer it with a complete sentence. And so it will take her at least 15 weeks. And like I mentioned in number one, a lot of times this little term right here can be used in our sentence as long as it makes sense. It did not make sense in number two, which is why we had to use less than instead of below. All right, <clears throat> let's take a look at number four. Pause the flipped lesson. Set up your inequality, then press play to make sure you have the right inequality, and then you pause it again, solve it, and answer with a complete sentence. Kara has driven 75 miles. She averages 55 miles per hour. How many more hours must Kara drive to travel more than 350 miles. 55 miles per hour is represented by the expression 55x. She has already driven 75 miles. She wants to travel more than 350 miles. The 350 is our total. More than is represented by the inequality greater than. We piece it together. Here's our inequality. Pause this flipped lesson. Finish solving and answer the question with a complete sentence. All right, use the subtraction property of inequality. Subtract 75 from both sides. Now divide both sides by 55. That is the division property of inequalities. We get x is greater than 5. However, we need to answer this with a complete sentence, one sentence that might work. She must drive more than 5 hours. So three out of our four problems we were able to use the words that represented the inequality symbol in our sentence because it made sense. Only in one of them did it not make sense. So you just need to make sure that your, uh, your sentence makes sense for what is being asked. All right, that is it for the flipped lesson for today.